Hey, bring me the charger to you, uh, GoPro. Yeah. Uh, right, right. Well, hello there, YouTube. I would touch base with y'all. I am wrapping a bunch of this up today. Um, you can see this motor is completely dressed. Uh, got the other riser there waiting, but it's wired, risers, everything. Everything's on it. Um, I am currently in the process of aligning uh aligning the motor that's in the boat uh, i don't know if any of y'all have ever aligned the motor but it's paying in the ass so take a little break from it and uh, uh we will reconvene uh, in just a few fairly close but um, yeah it's uh, looks to me like the whole motor needs to twist no twist thing and the adjustments on the mount are not designed for all that they're designed for side to side but not twist um, me when I put, put anything together uh, on a boat, I always use grease. Um, yep, this manifold will get hot, plus this grease will disappear. But, I like to be able to get back, take back apart what I've put together here. Now, uh, the other motor, it's all put together, the cars are already on it, um, 
Everything is done with it other than aligning the motor, hooking fuel up, and putting risers on that motor. Um, I haven't put the risers on that one yet. Just, uh, just uh, make it easier for me to align. Uh, this motor, unless the alignment is that far off, which I'm guessing it was, uh, I guess they were running it with the alignment way off, but um, what I did to get everything centered, I took a inch and a quarter PVC coupling, split it in half, and from the outside of the boat, I shoved that up into the shaft log to center the shaft. Um, that gets the shaft pretty close. Might have to tweak it with some little bit of wedges or whatever to take up a little bit of slack, but generally speaking, I mean, that is, that is as close as you're gonna get. It's close enough. Um, then you start trying to align the couple. Um, which is not fun. Never is. Same but. Looks like there's one bolt here. The pain in the butt. This bracket here that holds the electronics. I may have to take it off, but the chain's touching it, and the, boat, the motor's got to go in at like a 15 degree angle. So I just popped two bolts out the carburetor, not going to play it out of the way. Um, just for ease of use, I just wanted to go ahead and knock everything up. I did uh, order two new coils. These were looking a little bit rough on the fins. Um, I'm sure they work fine, but I'll just keep them for spares. There. I don't even want to start for them. Snug down, I'll come show you what I did for alignment and uh, explain to you a little bit on this one before we go so you can see how the alignment usually works. Um, and like I say, it is probably the worst thing about putting a motor in boat. Yeah, line perfectly up. If you don't get it lined perfectly up, you get a vibration in the boat. Um, nobody wants a vibration in the boat. Plus, this boat has brand new shafts, brand new propellers, all that stuff is brand new on it. Uh, vibration means something is not, not right, and it'll just tear that stuff up. Uh, now, the guy I bought the boat from, which I hadn't looked until today, he told me the shafts have been upgraded to inch and a half. They have not. They are inch and a quarter shafts, um, which is perfectly fine for this application, plenty strong, but if you were to go with uh, a diesel or something, 
you would need to upgrade the shafts to at least inch and a half. Uh, A22. Now, with this motor, I did change the manifolds. They are brand new. The old manifolds look pretty rough, but they have a low spot right there. And uh, I can machine them and get that low spot out, but uh, I'm, I'm not one to risk it. I uh, found these manifolds, they're brand new, good to go. Alright, so let me show you when you're aligning, these are your adjustments. So, when you're aligning, you loosen this bolt up and you've got this shaft. That shaft slides in and out. So that makes it where you can take the motor back and forth. Same thing in the front, back and forth. Um, then, on your engine mount, one end is fixed and one end goes side to side as well so there's plenty of adjustment side to side but if your mount needs to go forward there's no adjustment for that um so i put everything back in the original hole i do not know that these this motor was aligned correctly um, from the previous owner and most people don't do that throw over an alignment uh, but I will show you real quick how I do it uh, bear with me I'm gonna crawl under the boat and show you what I got all right, all right. All right so that is the shaft log Sorry, I know it's a little shaky under here. <laughs> See, that is the shaft log. And I don't know if you can tell, that's the shaft log. I put a piece of PVC pipe that's split in half. I don't know if you can see the split. And that makes it where that shaft is solid in the middle. Um, so that makes it where it is in the middle of the shaft log. With it in the middle of the shaft log, it should be in perfect alignment of this strut. And then you have to go inside. Matter of fact, hold on. I'll show you on the other side how that works. See how that shaft, this is on the other side. You see how that shaft's just laying in the bottom? See how much play it's got? So, you put the PVC pipe in there to center it in that hole. So you don't have all this play. Alright, now we'll come, just go ahead and come out this side since I'm already over here. Damn no spider. Ah. Ah. Okay. Now, as you can see, this motor is pretty well dressed. You see the alignments. Um, let me show you what we got on the coupling. See, the coupling's pretty close, but if you look on this side, the gap is a little bit larger. So the front end of the motor needs to go to the right to close that gap. It also, the front looks like it's a little bit high, so the front of the motor needs to come down. 
So, with all that being said, it's a pain in the nuts. That front mount there, yeah, she don't want to move. And there ain't a whole lot of good pride to it. Uh, as you can see by the rust mark there, I have already slid that over a quarter of an inch. And uh, like I say, it's little movements, little movements. And, and you, it gets a lot back here. Now, uh, I will continue to fight it. It's just uh, fight it for a little while, get aggravated, and walk away. Um, but I will keep you all in the loop and show you what I'm doing. Um, but the GoPro battery is just about dead. So I am going to put it on the charger. And uh, I will make sure I get some decent content for you all today. I'm actually doing something other than building engines at this point. So, with all that said, I will touch back with you later once this battery is charged. And I'll show y'all what I am doing. Alright, y'all have a good one. Bye bye. Well, she is completely put together and ready to drop in and run down the river. She turned out damn good. Should be all I gotta do is plug and play. Plug her in, crank her up. Still got to do the hoses. So that's going to require a aggravating trip to auto parts store. Get a bunch of scrap pieces of hose. She is all set. All right. Now that y'all see all of that, I got the engine aligned. So, uh, We'll show you this. Uh, I'm going to go screwdriver. Short. What is my short? Okay, don't know where my short flat it is. But, uh. Oh, there it is. On the ground, of course. What else do I need? Oh, I need a Clamps. Little hose clampers. Let's see what we got in here. There's one, there's a small one. Yeah, that's a small I got. So yeah, I got some more over here. I know I got a pile of them. Too small. Too big. Hmm. Get a whole bucket of hose clamps over there. I don't feel like digging them out quite yet, so I'm gonna go work with what I got. Oh, I'll need a knife too. Need a knife. Alright, so the engine was Pretty aggravating to get aligned. It is not perfect, uh, but I believe it's good enough um, with the application that I have. Now, contrary to belief, there is quite a bit of tolerance um, when aligning a shaft, um, especially this is only inch and a quarter and it's got one one bearing which is the strut um, as long as your center of the shaft log there can be a little bit of variance i am going to guess uh 
I don't know. I may be eight thousandths out of the line, but that motor doesn't sit still. It's sitting on rubber mounts, it, it's not always gonna be absolutely perfect. But let me show you what I got, and you probably won't even be able to tell. So you remember earlier, she was pretty bad off. Now, she is pretty much dead on the money. You can't tell with the naked eye that that is out of the line. So, everything's tight down. We are good to go. I am starting with some other little odds and ends like fuel lines and uh, all of that needs to be gotten together. Um, I was grabbing clamps. Let's see here. And a screwdriver and a knife. Okay, so. Yep. There. Clamps up there, they are okay. So, I always like to position my clamps where I can get to them very easily. See, that's too much. I gotta get some clamps because I don't like that, that's too much. Some of this is going to be changed around because they had copper lines or they had, you know, compression lines or whatever. And I won't be going back with all of that. It's just going to be simple rubber line. Um, we'll make sure there ain't nothing going to chafe. And uh, we will go from there. Few lines of that. Okay. Now I got this little old neutral safety switch. Yes, that's what this is. I don't know. Ah, nice 
nice and rusty. Nice and rusty. Okay, so pretty much all that's left is the odds and ends. This one's pretty much the same thing as the one in. I gotta put the manifolds on, hook the exhaust up. I gotta put the coupling bolts in. Gotta run the wall water, run all the radiator, run the fuel. Um, but for right now, uh, this weekend I'm pretty much done. Um, I will have to come back to this next week or whenever I get a chance. Um, as you can see, a lot of cleanup. Just a lot of, a lot of odds and ends. We'll get the motors running and uh, all the batteries and everything hooked up. Then we can uh, go from there and figure out the rest of it. Um, she is definitely coming right along now. So, uh, yep. Alrighty. smaller screwdriver than this. Now, a lot of this is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, raw water hookups over here. Uh, so I've got to fish the raw water around and then plug it into there. And uh, as you can see, there's no room. <laughs> um, but that's all part of it. Um, it'll be fine, I guess. Uh, most of this is is uh, coming together pretty nicely. Uh, I am not going to complain. Yes, I know these clamps are too big, but the little clamps for their A toes are narrow and they don't seem to clamp real well. So I've always use the larger clamps. Bam. One thing at a time. Going. Uh, I might have to mess with a transmission cooler line. I don't like the way it's routed. The transmission cooler line is looped up right there. Goes under the engine and goes over to the other side. It's kind of cramping up. And, uh, so, yep. Then this fuel line will go from here to over here. These. And I gotta hook the fittings up for all of that. So, fun, 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 fun. Always fun.
But all right, I just wanted to touch base, show you how the alignment went. And like I say, it was aggravating as hell. Uh, it's not absolutely not 100% perfect. Um, the only way I can get it to go perfect, the whole motor needed to do this. And that means the mounts would need to go back. And uh, they can't unless I make pull the motor and make better major modifications. Um, it's close enough. Um, so we'll we'll just have to see how it works out. Um, I can even see this mount here is you look, see that mount? It's pushed back for the motors already twisted. But like I say, there's a good bit of tolerance. Uh, I don't know how perfectly aligned this thing was uh, from the previous owner. Um, so we're just gonna have to figure it out as we go. Yep, yep. And she is a mess. I gotta get batteries out uh, here pretty quick. And uh, that's four uh, pretty, pretty large batteries. So that's not gonna be cheap. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, all right. Y'all, I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Tomorrow is Monday, start of the work week. I've got to go to Norfolk and do a load. Uh, 16 foot tall. Um, taking it to some packing facility so they can uncrate it to get the height down. It's supposed to go to Iowa, but I am not taking it to Iowa. Um, I've got other work that I have to do. Um, so we'll see how that goes and go from there. But uh, y'all have your good one. We'll try to give you some updates and keep plugging along. We're, we're coming to the end here of uh, the engine overhaul. I mean, as you can see, there is still tons to do. I'm gonna take the door off, probably have a cabinet maker make me a new one, pull these this back wall out, and uh, make me a new wall. Um, Lots of work to do. Lots, lots of work to do. But uh, just one step at a time, we will get it as it, as it comes to us. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.